Storm Team Weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Ramirez. Sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Welcome back, everyone. So we didn't get to triple digits today. True, we didn't. We stayed in the upper 90s. Still fairly hot, though. Of course, our yeah. southern counties are dealing with increasing moisture, so they're a little bit more muggier in our southern counties. But uh, for the headlines for the next seven days, we're going to continue to see a quiet weather pattern as we go into the weekend. Highs remaining in the upper 90s with mostly sunny skies in the forecast. And then as we head into the middle of next week, we're going to start seeing the potential for increasing rain chances as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So we're definitely still in much need of rain because we are dealing with those uh, moderate drought conditions for us here in the Contra Valley. If we're looking at our time lapse, we started out with uh, mostly clear conditions. We started seeing this cloud cover start increasing uh, from the south there, and those cloud covers actually from Tropical Storm Fernand that's way to the south of Texas, which is moving into uh, Mexico. It's actually weakened into a depression. But right now, currently sitting at 80 degrees here in San Angelo. Winds at the east southeast at three miles an hour across the Contra Valley. Grape Creek, 79 degrees, 79 in Barnhart, and then a 70 of 82 degrees in Sonora. So we're dealing with somewhat cooler temperatures. Especially since we're our day, our nighttime is actually getting a little bit longer as we go closer towards October for fall. Uh, atmospheric moisture, uh, we're seeing those dew points in the upper 50s in our southeastern county, 60 degrees and uh, junction 61. So it's a little bit more muggier and a little bit more moist uh, for our south, south southern areas as we look at that heat index values. But uh, as far as radar is concerned, nothing going on. Uh, just seeing just some slight cloud cover as we head into those overnight hours. Just clear skies expected as we go into the overnight hours. Temperatures remaining in the south. 70s as we go into closer towards midnight. Uh, getting down to 71 by tomorrow morning, we could be in the 60s as we wake up tomorrow morning with those clear conditions. And then temperatures just remaining, uh, getting still fairly hot with uh, just mostly sunny skies. We're going to see some cloud cover, but not much as we go into tomorrow afternoon with those temperatures remaining in the 90s. As far as our extended outlook and what we can expect for this weekend into the start of next week, high pressure system will be building briefly as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. It will definitely start weakening and dying off as we head into this week and opening the door for some increasing moisture and some cloud cover as we head into the start of next week. Highs are going to be fairly hot as we head into Friday and Saturday uh, with highs ranging from 100 to uh, 99 degrees uh, for this weekend. And as we go into uh, Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday of next week, we are expecting a upper level trough that's going to come through the area that's going to cause some flare up of some possible storms and showers as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. Definitely seeing those rain chances for the Concho Valley as we head into the middle of next week. That's where we're going to start seeing some cooler temperatures temperatures as well with temperatures getting down the high temperatures getting down into the mid 90s to low 90s as we go into the middle of next week. So we are keeping an eye still on the tropics. We are dealing with a very active uh, tropics right now because we are in the month of September and that is the most active time of year for hurricane season. We're dealing with uh, tropical depression Fernand off to the south of us. Juliet off in the Pacific. Hurricane Dorian disturbance number one. There is a disturbance off into the Atlantic and then now tropical storm Gabriel or Gab yeah, Gabriel as we go into uh, the next several days there. But looking to the south of us, the tropical storm that's closest to Texas, uh, definitely fizzling off as, as that rain continues to move towards the west there and not really seeing too much, just def definitely so causing some stormy conditions for portions of the Rio Grande Valley and uh, just mostly cloudy conditions and possible showers for uh, the southern portions of Texas there. Uh, but as we go into the next several days, it has weakened into a remnant of uh, remnant low there with winds at 30 miles an hour still for portions of the south of uh, the border there. But for Hurricane Dorian, it is now has strengthened officially back to a Category 3 storm as it continues to move closer towards South Carolina. It was a Category 2, now a Category 3. And it's going to continue to skirt along the eastern coast of the U.S., causing some rainy conditions and gusty winds and storm surge problems as we head into uh, the next several days for portions of the South and North Carolina coast. Tonight, getting down to 66, mostly clear skies with winds out of the east at 5 miles an hour. Tomorrow, topping out at 99, still hot conditions with mostly sunny skies. And for the next seven days. Expect to see those temperatures just remaining in the upper 90s as we go into this weekend. And then uh, topping out at 100 for Saturday. And then some cloud covers will start increasing as we go into Sunday and Monday of next week with partly cloudy skies. And of course, those increasing rain chances with highs at 95 for Tuesday, 94 for Wednesday, but giving it a 20% chance of some isolated showers to thunderstorms as we go into the middle of next week. Yay, more rain chances. Yes. And, small. and cooler temperatures at that. <laughs> yes, which is always a plus. Yes. All right, thanks, Chris. Coming up on KCN News, we'll look at